So a lot of times when I go to venues, they don't believe me when I say, hey, I have 400 and plus people that come to a brunch day party. My name is Radisha Williams and I'm the owner and founder of Brunchish. It was always hard to find people that looked like me, people that were in my age group. I always tried to create these spaces for myself. Brunchish is a monthly pop-up brunch day party series here in Phoenix, Arizona. We put all the tables together. We're a community, we all sit together. It kind of puts you in that situation that you have to befriend your neighbors. You ready for the next event? I am ready. Oh. Get it in. We should do the community style tables here again so we can open up the dance floor a lot more because now since it's getting so big, we need to have two dance floors in a way. We have VIP birthday packages here. We're gonna clear this out. More area for new games? Yeah, definitely area for games. There's so much space out here. We can definitely have an outside um, lounge area. Usually when people do events, they get this one good number and then it starts trickling down. There was like, unlike brunches, like the numbers are keep growing each time. I didn't know a black woman ran brunches. When I first started doing event planning, it was definitely for women. It's the connectivity that women have for each other. We always look out for each other because most of us deal with the same experiences. So we can kind of take off those roles that we carry from the day to day and kind of be ourselves. When I first started, I was just wearing normal clothes. No one, they're just now realizing who's running it. With that, it was like, okay, we need shirts. We need branding. So I got a logo made and I was like, look, we're gonna get these shirts made so people can identify who's part of the team. Hi, Rudisha. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. I think I wanna do another shirt for my staff mm -hmm. and then possibly sell that to the um, attendees as well. Okay. Definitely wearing the t-shirt brings that inclusivity with the event. Like I said, it's a family and it's kind of like wearing your family shield when you wear that shirt. Because I started this by myself, I don't know anything about building websites or anything. GoDaddy was very user friendly for me. The templates were really nice and I wanted to be very simple. Hey. Hey. How you been? Good, how are you? I'm good, it's good to see you nice again. Nice to see you again as well. Are you getting the next event planned out? Yeah trying to figure out which theme I want to do. So what are your goals for the website and getting this event out there? Actually introducing more of like an event template would be really nice. Some type of embedded ticket system. We have a tool called um, email marketing and that'll give you a list of everybody that comes to your events and then you can send them out one big email of the next event. You can have the theme on there. You can have a link to you know your event bright so they can click on that and take them to get the tickets. Um, it's one of the biggest ways that people communicate with their customer base. Not only does it it helped me, but it also helps venues that we use. I'm able to highlight them as sponsors or the business women I work with, I put them as sponsors too, so I can actually link their website with ours. The people um, definitely shaped me along this journey. There's one moment, someone literally hugged me and was like, thank you for doing this. It's definitely the biggest film reunion ever, and I'm like, this is what success looks like. When we're able to come together as strangers and interact with each other like we've known each other for a long time.